Hello everyone, this is Dee from my academy. This is the first episode of the theorem related to the closure of a set in a topological space. If x and tau is a topological space and a is any random subset of x and b is also a random subset of x, the theorem states that if a is a subset of, of b, then this thing implies that a closure of a set A is also a subset of the closure of the set B. The theorem states that if A that is a subset of X and B is also a subset of X, A has an additional property that it all it is also a subset of B, then we can also say that that this relation is also hold in the closure of the set that A closure is also a subset of B closure. Recalling the definition of the closure that is a set of all of the intersection of the closed supersets of A and it is the smallest set, it is the smallest closed set and we also know that when we're talking about the relation of, of the set A and A closure then the set A is a subset of A closure. Well, let's start this proof. The given situation is A is a subset of B and the target is A closure is a subset of B closure. So let's take an element from, from A closure. So let A belongs to A bar. And we know the relation of A, of a closure and, and the accumulation set that is a bar is equal to set a union a prime that is closure of a set equals the union of of the set and its accumulation limit points this theorem is proved in the previous video so if a is a member of a closure or a bar then this thing implies that a also a member of a union a prime so there are two cases because of this union the first case is that a is a member of of the set a and the second is a is a member of this a prime that is if a is a part of the set a or a is a member of the accumulation the set of the accumulation point now talking about the first one if a belongs to a and it is given that A is a subset of B. We will use this as well. Because if A is a member of the set A and it is given that A is a subset of B, then both of this both of this implies that A is also a member of B. Because A is a subset of B. If A is a member of A, then it should also be a member of the set B. So A is a member of B. And by the definition of the closure of the set, we know that any set, when we're talking about B set, is a subset of the closure of set. B is a subset of B bar. So if A belongs to the set B, then this thing implies that A is also a member of B closure. This is the information that we get when we say if A is a member of the set A then by using the given condition A is a subset of B we have seen that A is a member of B and then by using the definition of the closure of the set we have seen that A is also a member of a closed set B now talking about the second case if A is a member of accumulation set of A that is denoted by A prime and we know that A prime is a subset of B prime by using this given condition if A is a subset of B then by this given statement and by the properties of the accumulation set we know that A prime is a subset of B prime as uh, this has been proved in the previous video of the theorems related to limit of the accumulation point. Well, 
this is the first thing that we have used as a property of of, of the limit of the accumulation point and we will use this prime as a subset of b bar as that b and b prime are smaller sets compared with the closed set that is why the b closure is equal to the union of the set b and the accumulation set and this thing that i have wrote that b prime is a subset of b bar can also be right as b is a subset of b bar so this is abstracted from this definition of the relation of closure and and the accumulation set so if a is a member of a prime then by using this relation we will say that a is a member of of b prime and by using this relation we will write at a also a member of b bar so in both of the cases whether a is a member of the set a or a is a member of the accumulation set a a is a member of this closed set that is b bar for a and for a as well we saw that if a is a member of a bar then a is also a member of b bar in this way we have proved that a bar is a subset of b bar so by combining the results we can write it as a bar is a subset of b bar because initially a was a member of this set and then a was a member of this set so this was our target and we have proved this so this is for now we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye